Innsbruck, and a very warm welcome to the Steel Tennis Sports Team World Championship 2014. Here we are in the Olympia Hall in Innsbruck, and it's being changed into a fantastic Steel Tennis Sports Arena for this weekend. The quest is to find the best sports lumberjack team in the world. 300 tons of equipment, wild and cables, more than 500 spot lights, and an enormous video wall are going to help to achieve an electric atmosphere during this event. The deck below weighs in at around 18 tons and will provide a solid stage for athletes to perform their skills at home. So the stage is set for the championship. We're hoping the Norwegian team will be doing good, but uh, we don't know yet. TV and God help Cam to Wales. Yeah. Mein Herzschlag für Ungarn. I hereby declare the Steel Timber Sports World Championship 2014 in Innsbruck open. 23 teams of four from 21 nations have turned up to take part in this World Championship contest. In the first round, only two of the team members will battle it out on the deck. The buck saw and standing block chop one after the other, but it's not just a head-to-head -head duel. The fastest times are also important. The top 16 teams will qualify for the next round. The home team from Austria manages to qualify and we're really happy about it. It's more of a geil. It was just super. Wahnsinn, crazy. ohne Wort. Du hast so die Fans an der Hammer. Wir haben eine super Leistung really gemacht. Well. Also just super. Ein Wahnsinn. The team event is a relay race, so as well as being able to handle an axe, it's also the teamwork, communication, anticipation, and of course team spirit that plays a very important factor. So from the 23 starters, we are now down to the 16 finalists. From now on, it's sudden death knockout system. After the draw, we have France against Sweden, USA facing Italy, Great Britain taking on the rookies international, and Germany against Belgium. New Zealand is head-to-head -head against Hungary, Canada will meet Poland, the Czech Republic step up to Switzerland, and Australia will be up against the home team of Austria. And here's the man that keeps an eye on everything, Judge Rich Hallett. The Steel Timber Sports team event is actually very simple and it's, it's basically a tournament knockout round. And so the best team wins and moves on, the worst team loses and moves out. And the winner is Team Deutschland! If there is a, a rule infraction, uh, it's a 15 second penalty. So they're not disqualified outright, but they do get penalties, a time penalty uh, for each rule infraction. As a judge, we always watch to make sure the rules are followed, and if we think that there's a rule infraction, the first thing we do is, is get out our yellow flag, the sad face flag, and uh, once you see that, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're disqualified, but uh, we're very careful to check everything, and so we see something that doesn't look right, uh, we'll have uh, the judge team look at the situation, and often we go to the video check, where we have a video replay, and we can see exactly what happened in great detail to make the final decision. Nice job, gentlemen. Both times are good. Let's get the show on the road. The fans are ready for the first duel, France against Sweden. Last year, the Swedish team made it to the quarterfinals before losing to Canada. We had a really good uh, world championship last year, so we'll see this year what's happened. Uh, you never know who's, who is your competitors, so we'll see what's happening. All right, here we go. France has a strong showing of fans here, left. and... Get set! Competition is on. Aubin Brela for France on Stocksaw, Dan Giris for Sweden. 
And it's pretty even at this point. Look at this. Head to head. Oh, Sweden just coming out behind France in the stock saw. Underhand chop now. And Cyril Marshall is the first one to turn on underhand chop, so it looks like France has a slight advantage. Wait, no, Sweden gets through the underhand chop quickly, and now we're over to single buck, and wow, Kalas Svadling made it look like he was using a motor saw as he got through the single buck before everybody here. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, and now we're on to standing block chop. Both of these guys looking great, but holy smokes, Pontus Sky with a massive final blow to get through in 114.78. Sweden taking out. France. Here's a slow-mo, the Frenchman giving it all he's got in the single buck, but the Swedes were quicker and go through to the next round. The next spectacular heats are on their way. Who will take the title of the Steel Timber Sports World Champion 2014? We'll find out after the break. Welcome back to the Steel Timber Sports Team World Championship 2014. The next duel is USA against Italy. Team USA, led by Arden Kogar, finished second last year. The 44-year-old Timber Sports veteran knows exactly what this team contest is all about. From a passion, from a invigorating standpoint, I like the team events. Because I have three people standing with me, trying to do the best we possibly can do. Hands on the wood, get set! Good start for both teams. It looks fair, and it seems like the USA has a slight advantage at Stocksaw. Yes, in fact, they will get through first, and it goes on to the underhand chop. Arden Kogar, very strong in this particular discipline. Oh, but he steps off the log. That may give a chance, but Arden, wow, just a powerhouse as he gets through there. And now on to single buck. Italy struggling to get a glide going on here, and the USA with a distinct advantage here as they get through the single buck. Dave Jewett really rocking and rolling, and now on to Jason Lentz and Paolo Vincenzi on the standing block chop. Wow, the USA definitely in front here. Jason Lentz, one more hit should do it, and he's through. Oh, goodness. 10719 for the USA. Italy finally breaking through the log, maybe. Oh yeah, one last final chop, and that'll get them through at 11891. So the USA with a convincing victory. Powerful strikes on the underhand chop by Arden Kogar. Such a master. Full power on the single buck. Great strides and stroke. Perfection on the standing block. We just have to uh, just go a little bit harder. We'll be going uh, against another tough team, but um, no mistakes. You can't have not, not even one mistake. So the team that makes the least mistakes will win. Next up is Team Germany taking on Team Belgium, who are making their debut in this event. Germany got through to the quarterfinals last year before losing to Team Australia. Yeah, I'm looking forward to, uh, to the team event, but our problem is we are, I think, a little bit too far away from from the overseas in the chopping uh, chopping events, you know. And I think we have a little disadvantage in that. But I think we are a good team now. We have a good team spirit now, and um, I'm looking forward to uh, what happens. And what's the target for Team Belgium? It's the first time we have a Belgium team, and uh, before I train at home alone. And now we are with four, and that's 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 fun. That's fun, and we're gonna try to get better than the the, the Netherlanders. And they've definitely achieved that already just by getting this far. Hands on the wood, get set. Good start, a little bit faster getting started by Team Germany, but it seems like the saw got a little bit stuck. Now they're dead even. It's looking good and. Oh yeah, absolutely head to head as they get over to the underhand chop. Germany ahead at the underhand chop. Who's it gonna be getting through first? I think we're gonna see Germany getting through first. Here we are, and now single buck. Germany looking very good, great flow right there. And Belgium looking not bad either, but it's Germany just a little problem at the end, but they've got a disc and they're through to the standing block chop. And now the standing block, here we go. Germany already switching sides. Belgium hasn't switched sides yet, so that's not showing good for them and that means Germany is ahead at this point and he's getting lots and lots of support from his teammates and Germany is through Peter Bauer making the final blow to get Germany through in 109.37 Belgium with a great showing in 119.06 and they're happy just to have come this far congrats boys 
keep Germany from the starting shot. The last blow from Peter Bauer, just a little bit better. Wahnsinn! Also, crazy. ist natürlich immer, wenn, wenn man ein Chaos-System steht und dann gewinnt, es gibt nichts Besseres. The next key promise is to be hot. The reigning world champion and world record holder, Team New Zealand, facing off against Team Hungary. Two Timber Sports fans will maybe remember these scenes. Team New Zealand in full swing on their way to taking the title last year in Stuttgart, where they only just beat the Americans in a breathtaking final, and the Australians came in third. New Zealand has been one of the top teams in the Timber Sports series since it began. Of course, for Jason Winyard, the five-time winner of the Single World Championship, the team event is something rather special. As a team, we are not only mates, we are competitors against each other. So um, for us to come together and compete as a single unit, it's, um, it's a great feeling. It's a great feeling to be able to win together when you're competing with rivals and you put everything aside and compete for your country. So it's um, it's a big honor to do, be able to do that. Hands on the wood, get set. Good even start by both teams and look at this, head to head, shoulder to shoulder, neck and neck. How many uses of the word can we say? Both cookies looking good, they both follow the same time and now moving over to the underhand chop. Yeah, looking good. Team New Zealand over onto the other side first. New Zealand with the advantage. They're through the underhand chop first. Now it's on to single buck. This is a strong one here. Look at these guys go. Single buck is almost all the way through for New Zealand. It's a good cookie. And now Jason Winyard takes over on the standing block chop. New Zealand in full control of this head-to-head -head battle here. A couple more blows by the looks of it for the big man, Jason Winyard, and he's through. 103-31, Hungary still battling away at it. Istvan Juhasz finally getting through in 117-77. Wait a minute, something looks wrong here. The judges have to take a look at the replay. It could be a penalty. Four fingers from each hand have to be over the line. So what does this mean? 15 second penalty, New Zealand, hands not on the wood. Winner is Hungary. Oh, a small mistake ends the contest for the defending champion team, New Zealand, and Hungary go through by a fingernail. Yeah, so in the stock saw discipline, we have a requirement that uh, the competitor's hands need to be up on top of the wood. And we have a line drawn down the middle of the block, and four fingers of each hand have to be crossing that line at the start when I fire the gun. And we have cameras focused right down on their hands, and we check those. And unfortunately, the competitor had one finger that was behind the line, and so we had to make the call to disqualify him. Nobody was expecting this to happen. New Zealand are out. That is a bitter pill to swallow for the Kiwis. Uh, pretty bad. Uh, we expected to do well and it was nice to have the best qualifying time, but uh, very disappointed. Uh, just when I bend down to pick the saw up, I twisted my hand, so one of my fingers come back over the line on the top. It's just one of those things, sometimes the pressure and competition and, and all the noise, you forget the basic things. Um, it's unfortunate, I think we were probably, we should have been probably 15 seconds faster and then the penalty wouldn't have made any difference. Well, we will qualify for the remaining places in the quarterfinals of the Steel Timber Sports Team World Championship 2014. We'll be back with these next three heats right after this short break. Welcome back to the Steel Timber Sports Team World Championship 2014. The defending champion New Zealand are out of the contest due to a penalty. Hungary go through to the quarterfinals. The next heat, Canada up against Poland. Canada's best newcomer is the 25-year-old Sterling Hart from Vancouver. Leading up to this event, all the guys in my team are my biggest competitors, you know. We all had to compete against each other to get this spot on the individual team. 
And now all of a sudden we're in a training camp together, all sharing our big secrets that we've worked our whole lives to get. And, you know, everybody holds back just that little bit, but everybody's been great. We've been sharing equipment, sharing our, our deep, dark secrets about wood chopping and sawing, you know, because we all have that one goal of a gold medal here. This bird's great. Awesome. Hope we're gonna do good, and I think we're gonna do good. Uh, just hanging around uh, with the same guys for a couple of days. You gotta come together. It's, we're having laughs and we're having fun, so that's the main thing. Be honest, being on the podium, we're gonna be some really good, really strong steam. But then last year we just missed the podium by uh, half of a swing of an axe. So then uh, that's mean we have a team just as good as the team we had last year, if not maybe better. Everybody should do our event the best we can. You know, if you start worrying about the time and where you want to place. It gets in your head and you, you mess up. You just need to take your time, chop your block to the best of your ability. We kind of look after each other and uh, help each other out. It's great to have, you know, we've got some of the best guys we have in Canada, so you can learn a lot too. Uh, right now it's pretty serious. Uh, we have we had set ourselves some goals or, and try to put our best foot forward. So uh, it's uh, we're trying to do our, the best we can here. So. so it sounds like they're going for gold. Hands on the wood, get set. Canada got fourth place last year and with some new talent in the mix, it could be good for the Canadians. It's a good start for both teams in any case as they get through that first cookie. And it is slight, slight, ever so slight a lead for Canada as they go to the underhand chop there through first. Now, single buck for Canada, looking really good. Sterling Hart rolling through that wood like it is butter, but this time, it is Poland that gets through first and they go to the standing block chop, having a slight lead, coming late from behind, looking good. Poland, solid. Canada, solid. Who will get through first? It's Canada. Oh, by just the hair of their chinny chin chins. 104.90 to 105.68 for Poland. A close call, but there's a flag down. Who's made a mistake? The judges will check the slow-mo again. The slow motion shows that the Polish cookie wasn't complete. And the winner is Team Canada! So Canada goes through and the fans are loving it. The replay shows that it was just one blow in front for Team Canada. How close is that? It was very nerve-wracking because everybody was cutting well in our team and their team and it was a very close race so can't ask for better at the World Championship. The second to last heat in this round here in the Olympia Hall in Innsbruck, Team Czech Republic meet Team Switzerland. Martin Komarek prepares for the underhand chop. He came third last year in the single championship and set a high goal for his team this year. This year we want to try to be the best uh, European team, which uh, we can because uh, our team is individually very strong. But uh, no one knows. It's about the lack of wood about how you concentrate so we'll see but we have good uh, good chance to be the best european hands on the wood get set solid start for switzerland as they got on the saw very quickly and were first to start the cut and it looks good for them as they come through that cookie ahead of team czech republic and are already on the underhand chop However, Martin Komarek holds the European record for underhand chop, so the Swiss are in tough against this very strong competitor, and he is through first. Unbelievable time, fantastic. And now, on to single buck. Team Czech Republic have taken control of this race. Their cookie is looking good, and it's through. It's solid, and everything is looking fair as we go to standing block chop. Switzerland still trying to get through and finally do, and now they are on to the standing block chop. Czech Republic moving over to the other side. Jan Holub doing a very good job for them, and he is through with a solid final blow. Switzerland's Pirmin Gnadiger trying to get through there. Boy, he is really falling behind. The Czech Republic, 105-61 Switzerland, finally at 117.44. The turning point right here for the Czech Republic with Martin Kormarek on the underhand shot. And the final blow from Bulu. We'll be right back with more action after the break. Welcome back to the Steel Timber Sports World Championship 2014 from Innsbruck, Austria. In the last heat of this round, it's Team Australia facing the locals, Team Austria. 
Last year, the Austrians made it to the quarterfinals where they lost to New Zealand and the Australians made it through to the semis. Get set! Start for Australia here. A bobble by Austria on the stock saw, but look at this. Austria pulling through. It looks like they might even beat Australian stocks on. They do. They are on to the underhand chop first. Underhand chop is such a solid competition format for the Australians. Austria still struggling to get through, and Australia already on to single buck. They are looking very good here, keeping up their competition form. Austria still on single buck, and now finally moving over to standing block. Australia halfway through standing block. A couple of more blows in there through. Australia wins it 107-14. Austria finally coming through in 123-57. A good showing for the Austrians, but Australia will move on to the next round. Brad DeLosa finishing it up on the standing block chop. Fantastic power. And Team Austria really takes the defeat with a sense of humor. Hey, and the worst is that they always have to fight again. But when you're Australian, he's one of the big boys. It's good to be a overseas. This is a big hammer. We are still there. 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 And fun. So we started with 23 teams, then the round of 16 in the Steel Timber Sports Team World Championship 2014. After some spectacular duels with Axe and Saw, the best eight made it through to the quarterfinals. The atmosphere in the Olympic Hall is electric. Which team will claim the coveted title this year? We'll find out next time. We'll hope to see you then.